Hello, this is Eric Newland with Miniology, and today we've brought on a special guest with Mini Meet North. Uh, the organizer, Tamar, is with us. How you doing, Tamar? Not too bad. How you doing? Thanks for having me on. Nice. No, absolutely. I appreciate your time. Um, I, I really like to hear uh, about your the minis that you, that you own to start off with. It really intrigued. So. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so I've been in the minis now for the better part, 25 years now. Um, so I started with my first mini, which uh, I got the, the green mini, which has a 999 one. And then I, I kind of went up the left field with a couple other ones. Um, the one I built after that was a, uh, a rear wheel drive mid engined uh, small block V8 powered mini. I had that one for a while, and then uh, I decided to go a different route, which is with the one beside me right here, which is my 67 Mark One Aussie van. Uh, this one is uh, Honda VTEC powered. Oh, man, that is pretty slick. And uh, the nose does not look super long on that one. So have, you did not elongate the nose on that. Is that correct? Or oh, This is a standard nose. It's still fixed. It's not a flip front or anything. It's original to the car. I didn't want to change any of that so basically with the bonnet shut you'd never know man very cool very cool well thank you thanks for sharing those cars very awesome beautiful um you know i just have a uh, just a couple of questions uh you know uh, you've organized this uh, mini meet north and i just wanted to get an idea why did you end up doing that well you know it was uh it was kind of a funny story we were at a, a we we're doing a track day it was uh 2008 i believe it was and uh I always wanted to go to the mini meets. There's the, the couple of big mini meets, mini meets east and west and east meets west. And at the time, they were pretty down south, right? So uh, it was kind of too far for me to travel. And I guess one time I got riled up and I said, screw it. I'm going to do my own. I'm going to call it Mini Meet North. And that's kind of how it started. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you for the spirit there. That's pretty slick. Uh, tell us about um, this upcoming, uh, the 2022 uh Mini Meet North. Um, where, where is this going to be held at, and uh, what, are you, what are your plans? So all our mini meets are held at the same place around the same time of year. So it's held at uh, Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, which is formerly known uh, known as Moss Sport Raceway. Uh, it's in Bowmanville, Ontario, just outside Oshawa, and uh, it's always held Father's Day weekend. Uh, one thing that we've done with our event, it's kind of an event within an event. And it's held in conjunction with uh, the Verac Vintage uh, Grand Prix. Right on. Very nice. Very nice. Um, with COVID, it was a little crazy, right? So everyone was, you know, I, I know many meet West, the Canadians who were playing on that had quite a lot of difficulty getting up and going. So um, what has happened the past couple of years? The last couple of years, we kind of did more virtual stuff. We didn't have a live event over the last two years. Uh, just because of COVID and unfortunately around the time of year that we were going to host, that's when the numbers started spiking again and restrictions kind of clamped down. So we were at the mercy of the, of the pandemic. Yeah. Well, um, I'm glad to hear you're also able to get moving on with this year's event. Uh, I know uh, everyone's excited to get back together and hang out and drive some cars together. So especially the, uh, the attention that these minis bring. So uh, kind of talk about, if you wouldn't mind sharing uh, a little bit about the um, uh, the activities. Uh, how, is this a multi-day event or is it a single day yeah. event? Uh, what, what, do people, uh, what are people in store for? So it's held over Father's Day weekend, which is a, uh, we do from Thursday to Sunday in conjunction with the Grand Prix. Uh, throughout the day, there's races going on, there's vintage racing going on. So you actually get to see a couple of classic minis, Mark, you know, older Mark one minis racing around the track against Mustangs and other cars. Uh, so there's always racing going on all day. We do have. Um, there's a show on the big show on the Sunday. Uh, we also do like a barbecue, a show and shine at night. Uh, we can't, you know, with one thing that's unique about Mini Meet North is there's camping at the at the campground, so it'll allow you to camp there the weekend if you choose to. We do have a lot of people that camp the whole weekend. We got a couple that come in every day and come just, and some just come for a single day. 
One thing that we also organize in conjunction with Verac and, and Canadian Tire Motorsports Park is um, we were able to do uh, arrange for all the mini owners to take their cars around the track a couple times in a, in a controlled lapping. So we do about three or four laps around the historic uh, Mossport Raceway, which is uh, something, uh, a bucket list for a lot of people. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's always excellent. Gets people the, the bug to maybe do some uh, more advanced driving, maybe take up some uh, vintage racing or, or just getting out with your uh, with your new Mini and uh, uh, with some of the race programs that are available out there. That's awesome. Very cool, yeah. very cool. Um, you know, I was just looking at uh, our comments uh, from uh, from Facebook, we have Carol Witt uh, here who uh, who says a uh, very nice mini. So she likes likes your ride. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Carol, uh, can't beat that. And if anyone has any comments or questions, you know, feel free to, to hit us up here. We'll try to answer everything before before time's up today. So yeah, no, very nice. The um, uh, for uh, people coming in, maybe just who want to. Uh, 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 fly in, whatnot. What what airport's the easiest way to get into your location? So the closest airport would be Pearson in Toronto. Uh, that's about an hour, hour and fifteen minutes, depending on traffic, uh, away from the from the racetrack. All right, awesome. No, that's very nice. And uh, for accommodations, what do most people? Uh, do you guys get campers out, stuff like that, like you see? And yeah. So uh, for those that are local, those are local. There's people that come in and out. There's a couple uh, bed and breakfast places around, and you know, a really nice area there. It's uh, out in the country. It's, you're getting into uh, almost close to Muskoka, so you're you're out in, the, in near the, a nice area there. So you, there's people that rent cottages. There's people that stay in local hotels in town, and uh, of course there's camping there, which the majority of people do. Sweet, very nice, um, and. Um... In the past, how far away have people traveled to come to your mini meet north? Well, it's it's kind of funny. We've had a, a people from literally around the world, right? We have a lot to come up from the states. I think uh, the first, well, obviously, we have people from Florida. We had people from the East Coast. One person drove up from Colorado our first year uh, to, to come out that way, and it was it was nice. Um, now, out of country, we've had people come from England, Australia, and. Uh, I think there was one other somewhere in, in Europe as well. But, you know, we even had yeah. uh, one funny story was um, an Australian couple that was uh, in for a wedding, and they're mini people, and um, they saw a bunch of minis drive around because we were doing a cruise, and they left the reception. They stole the well, stole the bride's new mini, followed us down to the track, and hung out with us all night. So it was it was a, it was a good time. Oh man, that that's awesome. Very very fun. Um, yeah. You know, with, with um, you know, as of uh, as of today, I know we're we're getting close um, at the time of filming this, uh, where it's the tenth of June. So, you know, about a week out. So, uh, what do people yeah. do if they do have a car and they want to slip in? Uh, is there still availability to uh, bring in a car? Absolutely. So, there's a uh, three registration has closed, but you can register at the event, uh, whether you want to come in for the full weekend or for the day. Cool, cool, awesome, very nice. Um, so uh, overall, um, is this? Uh, you know, I noticed from the photos that we were looking at uh, some new minis, uh, and and also obviously a lot of classics. Uh, what kind of percentage do you typically see in a year? It varies uh, from year to year. It's it's a pretty good blend. I think we usually get the majority as classics, but we do get a fair share of new minis. Uh, if I was going to give a number on average, you're probably looking about maybe 60 to 70 percent classics and the remainder being new minis and we actually have a, a great following of people without minis who just love the event love the environment love the atmosphere so we do have quite a few that without minis that love coming every year that's awesome yeah i'll most definitely be following you uh, on facebook and uh, looking for the posts coming up next week uh, seeing all the cars showing up uh, do you have an anticipation of how many cars um, might be showing up for this year's uh, event, it, it's a crapshoot the year after COVID, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, it, it varies. <laughs> so I, I think the largest we've had uh, around the track, we've had 110 cars, 110 minis show up. Wow, that's awesome. That's yeah. sweet. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, with Mini Meet West and Mini Meet East being, you know, uh, typically on the far corners of the of the uh, you know 
on the coastlines per se. Uh, it is really nice to see that you've been able to pull together, uh, you know, an event for people to get to and and enjoy uh, without having to travel too far. And uh, it'd be really nice to see, uh, you know, east meets west meets north uh, in a year in the fu- in the future, and uh, you know, putting it in where Minnesota or Wisconsin or where do you think? Where, where are some cool locations you think could be done? Uh, you know, it, I'm, I'm game for almost anything. You know, I, 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 I'm a big advocate for all the mini meets. You know, I am going to mini meet East as well. I, I, I plan to go to mini meet West uh, soon. So, you know, uh, we, uh, I want to support them. I, I know they support us. It's, it's a huge family anywhere, really. I, I, anywhere cool. If they have nice, cool roads, like nice driving roads, I, I am up for it. So, yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Sweet. So, uh, you know, at the beginning of the conversation, you were mentioning that you've been doing this for 25 years. What got you into the mini? We got, I've always what, liked them. Yeah. I, you know, and it doesn't hurt. I was a big Mr. Bean fan. Still am, obviously. Um, you know, so I, I used to race cars and they got the big V8s and all that stuff. And I, I got that out of my system. I just wanted a car that I could have fun and enjoy and uh for me it's more not you know it's not the quarter mile it's for me it's the handling it's the, the enjoyability of driving whether you're on the street or on a track that that does it for me it's just the sheer joy of driving and you cannot smile when you're driving a mini yeah yeah no I, absolutely um you know from the photos that you shared and that we were uh, able to uh you know show on this uh miniology today um your, your cars are just absolutely spectacular, total eye catchers, um, really awesome, uh, beautiful. It's pretty slick. Um, what is kind of your, um, uh, do you own your bucket list mini right now, or is there a, a mini out there that you'd like to get your hands on? Well, you know, uh, yeah, this is, this, you know, I love this car. This is, this is a great car. Um, I, I am building, you know, it doesn't stop. You're always working on the cars. You're going to find your next bus, bucket list car. So it's hard to say this, this is the one for now. Yeah. But I'm sure there's going to be another. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Um, yeah. You, you, uh, you jogged my mind when you were saying the Mr. Bean earlier. And um, like, again, just kind of go back and share some of the, the Facebook uh, portion here. But yeah, if you, uh, on the mini meet west i'm sorry mini meet north sorry um your your um I was looking at your your profile is a mr bean is it not that was, it is, it i is, was thinking yeah. <laughs> where did you find that photo it's like does he have drumsticks coming out of his nose or or Yo, what I, that is i can't remember i've had, I've had that photo in, you know, in my in, you know, in my gallery for 20 some odd years and uh, I, I never see it again i love it <laughs> that is awesome. That was awesome. I was speaking with Norm Nelson early in the week, and I was saying, "Hey, we need to connect up with Mini Meet North because it's coming right around the corner. And hear what's going on." And Norm, Norm's being like, "I, yeah, Tamer, man, he look at his profile photo. It's got like, stuff coming out of his nose." <laughs> so I look at it close, I'm like, "I think that's Mr. Bean." <laughs> it is, yeah. Awesome. Um, you know. Uh, International mini meet seems to be like the you know the creme de la creme of all the all the mini meets. Uh, I was thinking, how cool would it be to bring it to North America? I don't know if they'd let us, but uh, I think we have enough uh, people here between mini meet East, mini meet West, and mini meet North. Uh, we could pull together and let's bring you know one year where it's you know bringing up the South Americans, uh, bring up you know the Mexicans, the Americans, Canadians all together here. And uh, get all our minis together and invite them to come over, ship some cars over. Um, I don't know. It'd be interesting to see how many cars we could pull together. But uh, that's a fantastic idea. I would be able to. I would support that 100. If we can make that happen. All right. We'll I'll have to put together some type of uh, material to convince them otherwise. But um, yeah, it's frustrating and sad to see that this year's uh, the one that was going to be in Germany uh, was canceled again. So uh, yeah. Uh, Maybe we can connect up at an IMM uh, with some of our other friends in the mini community here soon. But, uh, you know, I, I appreciate your, your time today, Tamar. And is there anything uh, that you want to make sure anyone knows about the upcoming event uh, before we sign off for the afternoon? 
Well, again, the, uh, our Facebook page is probably the easiest way to get a hold. You know, you can connect with me directly through that. Um, again, any questions you, anyone has, it's it's a great time. You know, just reach out. And uh, even if you don't have a mini, that won't stop you. We're, we're, we're there for everybody. It's all like-minded people. Mini yeah. is, not, is not mandatory. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, no, and I, I have the the uh facebook page up right now and uh we i'm putting up and down your uh your email address so it's again joltfreak at gmail.com and by the way we're yeah give me the backstory on <laughs> jolt free <laughs> uh well yeah it's not because i'm, I'm not an electrician uh, that's the, probably the first one people blast um no it was uh it was a uh, it was a drink of choice back in back in oh, university yeah. in high school Oh yeah, you know, that, you know that helped me before I discovered coffee, and I was able to take coffee down. That was my drink of choice to try to keep up with those late nights. Very nice, working on them minis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I hope to meet you in person soon, and thank you for your time uh, again. That's uh, June seventeenth, Mini Meet North, twenty twenty two. It's back in action. Uh, so we look forward to wish you guys a successful meet and uh, yeah, I'll definitely be following you, seeing what's going on. And uh, maybe we could do a wrap up, uh, shoot some video for us and get some images of this year. And we'll share in an upcoming uh, miniology. Yeah, I could definitely so. do that for sure. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Um, we'll go ahead and close out here with just a, a photo from the last uh, mini meet I personally was involved in. That was a, uh, mini meet in uh west and hood river so um 2018 so thank you again have a good afternoon and we'll talk with you soon thanks again cheers